Echo Island on Hollow Lake, day three. Dear reader, this came as a confusing journal entry for me. I suddenly woke up and fumbled around trying to find my flashlight on the side table. I wasn't sure if I was waking from a dream or a deep meditative state. I didn't understand what my emotions were or what just happened to me. I was awake enough to find my way to the kitchen while not disturbing the dogs and got a glass of water. I checked the fire in the cast iron stove. It was still crackling but had dwindled significantly from the time I'd gone to bed. I left the doors on the stove open and put a small log on the fire. I guess it was around two, maybe three in the morning. I looked outside the kitchen window, all was quiet. I had an urge to go outside and look at the night sky, but for the moment, I just needed to sit down and recover. There's an old art deco chair in front of the fire, upholstered in a soft velvety green and I enjoyed sitting surrounded by its wise, comforting arms. Now I recalled that I was meditating in a dream and remembered having a heavy, sinking feeling, not scary, just foreign. I couldn't move and I felt like I'd been turned into the rock beneath me, granite, hard and sparkling, weighted down with the legacy of old, with life brimming everywhere. I was part of the dark core of this place. Lights were moving around in a slow sparkle. An unseen hand offered me a branch with tiny buds that cast brilliant blossoms of light. I was without any understanding of this gift offered. Then I felt like granite being warmed by sunshine and the wonder of it woke me. So now here I was just sitting by a warm fire in the arms of this chair, feeling safe and enjoying the odd wonder of this place. I drank my water and felt a great need for sleep. Well, I'm off to bed, dear reader, and now I and look forward to making more sense of this journal page tomorrow.